Let's create some greeting cards. I had a need for some greeting cards. I wanted to send a thank you out to the people that participated in my Facebook group in the ATC card swap. And we're going to be doing it again in May. But I wanted to send a special thank you to the women that participated in the first one. I was traveling and, you know, the, when they received their cards, they didn't receive much of a presentation. So at least I can send a thank you. My name is Peg. My channel, Two Old Crows Mix Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And of course, the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. The like button helps promote the channel and the comments just help me. I love to see them and I appreciate all of your thoughts. So to get started, I wanted to make these greeting cards pretty personalized or, or more me. <laughs> and I created my own stamps and I'm just using foam core board. I had a piece left over from a grandkid's school project, or it might even have been one of my kids. I don't know. It's been around for a long time, so I thought I'd pull it out, break it down, and see if it would work to create stencils for me, or stamps, if you will. So let's get started, and I'm updating my phone with my GoPro, so let me push that out of the way. I didn't realize I still had it in frame, so I'll move it here in just a second. But I'm just going to cut that flower shape that I drew on there out with my X-Acto knife. And when I broke down this foam cork board, I pulled off the paper coating to expose the foam underneath because I think the foam underneath will pick up the paint better and will also provide a little bit of texture from that foam when utilizing the stamp. So this first one I cut completely with my X-Acto and then I thought, you know what, I think my scissors will cut through this foam core and that would be a lot easier. And based on me and based on how I operate, probably a lot safer. So I'm going to finalize this. Of course, I have, have eased those cuts by going with the X-Acto knife. But we're going to try it both ways. So let's just get that cut out. And the scissors work fine. There, there's my first little flower. I'm just going to clean it up a bit. And now I'm going to take a second piece of that foam core board and glue that flower onto it. Now, in subsequent versions, I decided to use boxes or cardboard remnants that I had laying around. And that way I'm reserving that foam core board to create more stamps. And I've created a couple. You can see I've created one there on the left and also um, have tested it with some paint. You know, I mean, why, why do the video if it didn't work, right? So I wanted to show you, see how I'm pulling off that paper that was adhered that the foam court board is, is a piece of foam essentially and it has the white paper glued on the back and the white paper glued on the front. So I've pulled that white paper off, and now I'm just going to illustrate. So I thought I'd do a little cone flower, but then I realized, you know, to do the number of leaves that make the cone flower look good, it wouldn't really present itself right in a stamp. It looks just kind of awkward. So I'm going to just go over the top of it. 
and create just a little abstract flower. And this just shows how forgiving the foam core can be. And I cut that little abstract flower out. And I'm using a screw punch to punch the hole in the center. And here are all of the little stamps that I've created. But I didn't think you wanted to watch me cut all that foam. So now let's test them out a bit. So I pulled out my small gel press. I'm gonna, I have a blue line on there, but we're just testing the stamp, so I'm not too worried about that. I just want to lay a background down, and we'll stamp over that background. I, I just want to see if the stamps are going to really work. So we have the yellow background laid down. Let's try some pink. Let's see if I can get some color. This is kind of a light color. Takes a minute to get the paint into into the foam. And uh, you know, that, that kind of looks good using it, it as a mask. Let's get a little bit darker. We'll use this quinacridone magenta. And look at that. So I think this is actually going to work Pretty darn good. So let's just test a few more of them and see how those work that I didn't cut out. You can see in that first stamp that I had cut and just left an outline, and in the others, I've left the petal as a, you know, complete, I guess would be the best way to call it. Here, we'll see what I mean. So the petal is thick, it's not an outline. And I like the way this one's looking too. So there's there's the difference. The one that I you know, the two that I cut the inside of the petal out, and then the, the one where I left the petals whole. Okay, I think we've tested enough. Let's get started and make some greeting cards. So I'm starting with a gray and I hit it with some bubble wrap. Now I just want to put that on a portion of the card and I'm laying down a piece of paper to to, you know, I wind up with paint on my hands all the time. I don't know how, but I do. So I'm trying to preserve the integrity of the inside of the card. And I'm being brave. And see, I got a little smear there on, on the inside. So, you know, it's, it's a handmade card. Now some Whole, uh, cool gray. So I started with just the plain gray. Now I'm coming back with a cold gray, which has that blue, blue, blue undertone. And I'm going to pull the inside. I'm using this as a mask, and I'm going to pull what's on the exposed portion or the inside on this stencil and I'll transfer to the card what was left underneath there I like that that's a good start And I'm doing two cards in each color combination.
And there's the second card. So I think we have the, the two grays that look good. Let's finalize those with a dark Payne's gray. And we'll pull out one of the handmade stamps and just stamp that flower onto the front of this card. There we go. And I think that works out nice. You know, it, it it's I'm going to use it as a thank you card. It can be used as a Mother's Day card, just a greeting card in general. It has the flower. It kind of celebrates the coming of spring. So there's all kinds of re ways you could use it. Let's get the second one done. I'm a little out of frame with that. I apologize, but let's just go ahead and get it stamped up. And where I made that little mark on the inside, I'm just going to disguise that with, with a little flower print. So we'll have a flower on the inside of the card. And there you have it. Now let's start a, another. And I want to use this lemon yellow. I'm going to use the same stencil, but I'm not going to pull the inside out. So that creates a heavier coverage with a little bit of detail. And you can see some remnants that are being pulled up off the press, which is, which is fine with me. I'm going to use this red oxide on top of that yellow. Pull out my sink mat. And I like that, that combination of the red and yellow. I think that wasn't red oxide. I think it was the uh, quinacridone gold oxide. I'm not sure. Red, I'll put it in text. I'm going to have to look at the, the paint color on that bottle. And now back with the raw umber. You know, it wasn't red oxide, it was nickel also gold. So I'll I'll put it up in a in a text so there's no confusion there. So there's the first card that we did. And now, you know, all of the cards were just done the same. Going with a couple choosing a couple of colors, coming back with a darker um, flower. And now I'm coming back to finalize them with a little bit of doodling on the inside of, of these and a gel pen in the white. And on this one, I'm pulling out that gold metallic pen and just going around the flowers. So I use the two pens on all of the cards, either the gold metallic or the um, white glitter jelly pen. And I'll put a text with all of the colors that I used on each of the cards in my blog post. So if you want to pick up the blog post, you can see each, a picture of each card and the detail of the paint colors. But I made about 12 cards and I didn't want this video to drone on and on. So I just decided to show a couple and show how I ended with a little bit of mark making and splatter on each card.
And then I'll share just a few of the finished pieces. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you on the next video, and I shall say bye for now.